Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. All right, so we have six of pentacles here. Seven of cups. The hermit, Virgo energy. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Somebody is wanting to have something balanced with you, or this is what you're you're attracting. You're attracting a very balanced connection, a very balanced reciprocal connection here, or this is what somebody is desiring with you. Talk about the Seven of Cups. The world. So, oh, you know what, guys? Somebody here did have some options. They had some choices. They didn't know who to choose. They were confused. Somebody is ready to put an end to their, if they were entertaining other options, they were wanting to close out that. They are wanting to close that cycle out. They want to put an end to that. This is somebody that wants to give you something balanced. They don't want anybody else but you. Yeah. Tell me about that. They've done a lot of thinking about this. A lot of soul searching. Tell me about the hermit. Okay. We have the queen of swords. This could be you guys that are in this hermit energy. Or somebody has done a lot of soul searching and um, they have gained clarity about something here. Or you guys have kind of like pulled back and you're like in a in hermit mode. Um, set, you've set boundaries. That's probably why somebody's getting clear about what they want now. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Resisting change. We're putting in the effort and resisting change. That's two different. You had somebody that wasn't, mm, let's see. What is the Eight of Pentacles in the what Frozen card here for? Wishing, replaying, events, suffering, and silence. What does this have to do with my collective? Frozen and Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Oh. Mm, so this was somebody, wow, guys. This is somebody that has had another person or at least one other person. They've had a third party, but they've been wishing for you. It's like, even if somebody was with a third party, they could never, they didn't let you go. And they were also kind of refusing to let somebody else go. Somebody that they were codependent on. Yeah. Hmm. So what's this have to do with my collective? The Ten of Cups. They see you as their ultimate happiness and fulfillment. They're, you're the one that they want a family with. You're the one that they, I just saw, want a baby with. I don't know. For some of you, happy. that's been actually coming through a lot in the readings. I don't know. We have the page of swords. Somebody's watching you. Or they're curious about you. Or they've learned something here. Tell me about page of swords. Yeah, somebody um vulnerable in love. Love exposed the truth. Yeah, they they've realized that they love you. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Seven of Wands. Somebody wants to come in and fight for you. Yeah, because they, they're not somebody that they want to lose. What a catch here. Wanting to conquer, fear of losing you. Yeah, so somebody's afraid that they're, oh, does somebody think that you're with somebody else too? This person could think that you're with somebody else here. What are they, what's the Eight of Pentacles? What's being worked on here? Okay, oh, so it could be one or two, one of two things. Either this person was not letting go of a situation because they were trying to work on, they chose that situation because of financial stability, or they thought that that was the best place to be to be able to improve their finances. For others of you, this person has been trying to work on becoming more stable to be with you, but maybe this person feels they're suffering in silence now because they maybe think that you have another person, and, but I still think they're going to try to come in and compete for you because I see this energy of them coming in to fight for you. The, yeah, it says fighting for your love because they don't want to lose you. They have a fear of losing you right now. Four of Swords, because you guys are very withdrawn at this time. Like I said, set those boundaries. Yeah, you put an ending to this. You, or they feel like something has changed about you. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. What about the Eight of Cups? The Five of Wands. Mirroring. In what way? Ten of Wands. You and this person both had baggage or healing that you guys both needed to do that was kind of weighing you down or that you guys were bringing into the relationship um, that needed to be cleared before this could ever really work out between the two of you. Who walked away? What's the Eight of Cups? 
the Empress. So the feminine energy walked away here. Taurus energy or a Taurus walked away. A feminine energy walked away. Somebody walked away from the, the conflict. If this person tried to put you in a competition, which it looks like they did, they had other options along with you. You walked away from that. You have temperance here. They want to reconcile, though. Ace of Pentacles on the back of the deck wanting to offer you something solid. Sagittarius energy with temperance. Divinely guided. So your connection is protected. So it doesn't matter if you and this person are with other people. The connection will still be there. Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to come in and... What does this have to do with this connection? Somebody's trying to work with the courage to come in and get bring in some type of romantic proposal here. But why the Five of Swords? Page of Wands. Um, Lady of Five of Swords. What is this Page of Wands and this Five of Swords? The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that would. What is this? Six of Cups. What about the Six of Cups? See, they're, they're realizing that they need to pull back from somebody here. There's somebody that they're still holding on to that they have a very toxic relationship with. But they're gaining clarity about this. That this was not true love. This was fleeting. This wasn't anything. Yeah, this wasn't meant to last forever. It is somebody that either they have kids with or somebody that they've known since they were kids or that they have history with. All right. Somebody that they have a past with um, that they were holding on to for whatever reason. But I feel like they're gaining some type of clarity. Yeah, that they don't. Was forbidden here that they sh they're not supposed to be with that person. Their friends and family may not even like this third party or something like that. That the that the this is the forbidden fruit or something like that. Like they may there's something that draws them to that situation, but every time they go there, they get bitten. Like whoever they're dealing with is a snake. So I see them disconnecting from that situation, and they're, they're going into the dark night of the soul. This is somebody that wants to. See, they've been trying to choose where to go here. Ten of Swords, though. What about Ten of Swords? The Ten of Cups. Hiding feelings. Fear, feeling insecure. Why do they feel insecure? Long wait. This person feels like their insecurities is why they've been kind of prolonging a new beginning between the two of you. What's the Tower? The High Priestess and what Pisces Energy, King of Cups. What's the Tower? A new perspective of what? See, I feel like this person feels, this person didn't think that things were over between the two of you. Someone's feeling like they need to take action to try to make something right with you. Because I think in their mind, they thought that this wasn't over or something. Let's see. Tell me about the divine intervention in the tower. Or, yeah, the, the new perspective, the divine intervention. I saw the four of wands. I'm telling you, somebody is feeling like they want to settle down. What was the tower, though? What was the tower? The empress. So, the divine feminine was the tower. The knight of cups. Oh, what the tower is, is... Somebody coming in out of the no out of nowhere. Oh, tell me more about Knight of Cups. The cards keep falling on the floor. Then we have the High Priestess here again, Pisces energy. Okay, and what about the High Priestess? The Nine of Cups. What's that do with my collective? King of Swords. Somebody's coming in to say something here. After going through the Dark Knight of the Soul, they've gained some type of clarity through the Dark Knight of the Soul. And now what? See, why does this ghosting card keep coming out? The, sa the same cards keep coming out. What is that about? They go to do to, out of, what is that? Money focus. They thought that they were going to have some type of material success or mon like some type of financial success or something. And they left you behind. Their intuition was telling you that you were their wish fulfillment though. So why did they, why didn't they, it could have been because of pride. Why did they do this? Mm, judgment. They're getting karma here, but why did they choose this other situation? Because of money? Could have been sex. I don't know. Two of, what does that do with my collective? Rejection. It was because of their ego. What about Seven of Swords? Yeah. It's almost like this person didn't. Wow, guys. This person 
wanted to like conquer you. It's like this person wanted to one up you. Be like it's a they have such a big ego, guys, that they wanted to one up you. Like they felt this love for you, they had this feelings for you, they had this fear of losing you, but they also were like didn't feel good enough for you, or you made them feel insecure. And it's like they wanted to hide from you how deeply they felt for you. They wanted to hide from you what a, how much of a catch they viewed you as. Like, they didn't want you to know this. What about the five of wands? The ace of pentacles. They were, they were conflicted about whether or not they wanted something committed. Why? They knew that they liked spending time with you and they liked dating you or whatever. But they weren't sure if they wanted something committed. What about the queen of pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy undecided see they they weren't sure they definitely they weren't sure if they wanted to offer a commitment to you or this other person what was drawing them to this third party though mm, what was drawing them to this third or it's more so this per this person wanted to be a player I do feel like there was like one main person or I mean, they could have had multiple people that were, you know, they were getting certain things from or that were helping them out financially or whatever. This person was like kind of like in an opportunist type energy or something like that. But this person wasn't sure if they were ready to settle down with you or if they wanted to keep entertaining multiple people. That's all. I, that's what I can see here. But something is making this person realize that, that they, they don't want to be a player anymore. They don't want to have options anymore. They want to be in something balanced and reciprocal and stable with you. But why? What is making them decide? Why, why is this making it? It's because you're, you're taking yourself out of the equation. I saw that you guys walked away from the competition. Like, there was, you're like, there never was. I'm not in competition with anybody. They were trying to put you in competition with other people while they decided they wanted to choose you or these other people. And you're like, no. So you left. And now you left them with these options. Now they realize that all they really want is you. Like none of these other people matter to them. You want more card about what was the tower? Doesn't totally understand their love for you, but what was the tower? Justice. Balance being restored. Soul contract. Okay. Libra energy. Ten of swords. Healing. There was an ending here. A healing, I mean, an ending had to happen so balance could be restored. Because this person was just not getting it, okay? They weren't getting it here. So there was an ending here. Or this person did betray you or something. But you're healing. You're healing. See, what about karmic partner? Queen of Wands. They had another person or more than one other person that they're leaving behind here. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. That they're leaving out in the cold, ghosting that person, rejecting them, whatever. To come, yeah, it's because they want to improve a situation with you. What about children? They could be moving on from somebody that they have children with, or they needed to kind of make, how do I say this? They needed to figure out a situation, improve a situation regarding children. What about, what is children here for? King of Swords, okay, there's that King of Swords again. The Six of Wands again. The King of Wands. The Knight of Swords. See, this person's thinking, oh. You guys have like, so I, we'll get one more card. Eight of Wands and we have, see, this person is thinking that you have options or something like that. They think that you've either, you're moving on from them. They think you maybe are with somebody that, who had a reading like this? I think it was actually the collective reading, but. They've been waiting for you to come back towards them or something like that, but I don't think that that's happening. <laughs> they feel like you're, you could be moving on. You could be moving be back in a relationship with somebody that you have kids with, or that's what they think is happening. Like you have more than one person coming towards you right now. Somebody's coming towards you because they think that you are moving on with another person. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. Now they want to give you what they should have given you a long time ago. But now it's because they think that they're that you're in a relationship with somebody else or that you're moving on or dating somebody else. Okay.
Hmm. I'm gonna use this deck. Hmm. I kind of want to see more of what is going through this person's head in regards to this connection because I feel like. What are they thinking in regards to my collective? What are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to my collective? Their perspective at this time. See, yeah, I feel so insecure around you. You're way out of my league. Everyone wants you. See, I told you, they think you're getting a lot. You'll get a lot of attention. Good. I'm putting up a facade to the world, but I'm a mess inside. I never appreciated you until you were gone. Your rejection hurt me deeply. Nobody has ever rejected me before, and I don't know how to handle it. I've been fighting my feelings for you so long, trying to keep you only as a friend, but it's getting harder to do. Ooh, this part. Ooh, I kind of was seeing indication of this. I'm, this person's mad, or they were mad. I'm feeling vindictive towards you. It's better we keep our distance. Tell me more. I regret leaving you for the other person. I chose the wrong person. Or they regret just not choosing you. Because I feel like this was somebody that was trying to just keep all their options, including you, and you walked away. I'm feeling overprotective. See, I look at your social media and secretly spy on you to see who you're talking to and where you are going. See, this person is thinking that you, yep, distance between us has made me realize just how important you are to me. I made the wrong choices. Well, I'm so used to toxic relationships that I thought you were just another one. You thought wrong. Our relationship is beyond repair. I have nothing else to give. Okay, well, let's see. I worry about our differences. You and me come from different worlds, but my heart says go for it and take the risk. It's like, almost like this person was looking at you as like maybe something that was risky, but they were engaging in other situations that were really the red flags, really the risky situations. Like, I don't know, this person's backwards. I'm so mad at myself for not being able to fight this feeling I have for you. This shouldn't have happened. I was careless. I can't stop worrying about all the things that could go wrong. There's a lot on the line. See, and then it says, I'm in love with someone else and I won't leave them for you. I'm sorry. What is that about? What is, I'm, I'm in love with someone else and I'm not leaving them for you. I'm sorry. I'm suffering in silence. I don't have the courage to express my true feelings. I'm waiting for you to share yours first before I do. Did they tell somebody else this? What does that do with, are they in love with somebody else? Or is this them telling somebody else this? See, I told you, they don't think things are over. I haven't found closure. Too much was left unsaid. My heart is yearning to have answers. My heart says one thing, my mind says another. I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just paranoid, see? I love you, but I'm afraid of what this love might bring. I'm not sure I'm ready. This love is so intense, I can't help but wonder if you put a spell on me. There's nowhere to hide. I do have feelings for you, but I'm trying to convince myself that I don't. Yeah, I'm telling you, they could be telling somebody else that, like, they can't like, leave you alone. They can't let you go. So just say they have a karmic partner. Wow. If they have a karmic partner that they were trying to, I don't know, they're telling, confessing to somebody here. That they just can't leave you alone. Like maybe they tried to tell that tell somebody that they were going to leave you alone or that they were going to be done with you or whatever. But they're telling somebody here that they do love you and that they they can't leave you alone and that they can't get over you. They can't let you go. Oh, well, that just got messier. All right. So. So it's like this person always wanted you, but they didn't feel good enough for you and you made them feel insecure and you wouldn't let them make you an option. So you walked away. 
they tried to kind of just settle and be in the situation that didn't require them to grow or really work on themselves or that was less intense, more comfortable to them. But they realized that like they couldn't, they tried, they've been trying to suppress these feelings and emotions for you, resist these feelings and emotions. It's getting to that point where they can't do it anymore. Yeah, I just saw the twin flame card. Yes, we know. Um, so it's like, it's getting to the point where they cannot keep up the facade anymore to whoever they're with or whoever's around them. They were trying, at some time point, they were maybe telling this person or the people around them that they didn't love you or that they, they were over you or whatever, but they're about to actually hear, admit to somebody that they can't get over you because it look, whoever they're telling this to, they know about you. So they're about to tell somebody like, I can't get over the collective. I love them and I'm not going to let them go for you. Like, I'm not going to, like, there's no way I'm choosing you over them when it comes down to it. But you guys definitely did give up. We have losing battle. You're fighting and you're fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch for you all alone, but un unable to confess their love due to the fear of rejection. See, I told you. they all, You always were the one that they had love for, but they didn't feel good enough for you. They thought you were going to leave them. They thought you were going to abandon them, that they could never meet your standards. They've been pretty much talking themselves out of this, trying to make you the forbidden fruit. When they were in whoever else that they were dealing with, they were toxic. They, they should have saw those people as not even the forbidden fruit, just as toxic and red flags. And they should some people that they should have been staying away from. We have at last. This is they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. See, it's like every time you let them go or they walk away from you or whatever happened, it says when you set them. When they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. We, as we've seen multiple times in this reading, this person's been suffering in silence. Yeah. Going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, they're already, I think they're already going through this. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of themselves and the connection. We have hopeful. They're opening themselves to love, align themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. We have beauty and grace and endings. Yeah, look at this. We have, they find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Yeah, but we have endings here. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. Lack of faith and resurrection. Leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. But what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. Tell you about endings. What does endings mean for this connection? We have divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. The journey. And we have building an empire. See, they've been so focused on money and material things that they, and it's not even bringing them happiness and fulfillment. So, or maybe they're, they're realizing that something was only supposed to be in their life temporarily and now the only reason that they're holding on to it is because of financial reasons and they're not happy there anymore i'm telling you this is somebody that is telling another person that they are not happy that there is somebody else that they want to be with or that they love and they're seeing this now they're clear about this before they weren't clear how they felt about you but now that you pull back you set these boundaries they feel your absence uh they think you're they're about to lose you completely they're realizing some things and it's like they're telling somebody that like, you know, I don't, I don't love you anymore. I just, I never did. This is toxic. This needs to come to an end. Like this has been going on for too long. Oh yeah. Because they can't let you go. They tried. You left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. It's almost like they tried to like, they tried to just like try to make another situation work or something like that, or just try to stay in a situation and it's like they chose money over love and they were just trying to like be okay with that but they just they've been trying to suppress and push away these feelings and emotions for you they're realizing they can't do that they're in turmoil without you they're hiding it they've been trying to hide it from somebody and it's like they, it's you know faking gets exhausting they're tired of like they it's almost possibly getting to the point where they can't fake it anymore because it's just overwhelming but they're just they can't forget you all they do is dream and wish about what the two of you guys could have together Yep, unfounded fear. They are afraid of trusting it hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So they have these feelings for you, but they're afraid that you're going to leave them, that you're going to hurt them, that this is too good to be true, blah, blah, blah. But, yep. 
whatever the situation is, it's like children is involved and it's a very toxic environment. Mm -hmm. Possibly children involved or their lack of inner child healing is, is what has landed them in this type of situation. This person's been waiting for you to come back. Yeah, now, right as I'm saying childhood wounds, their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long lasting relationships. They have a lot of demons and darkness and uh, things that they need to face and work on and heal and release because of it's like they have this dark side that stems from and whoever this third party is is somebody that indulges in that dark side with them okay whatever that means but that stems from their inner child wounds okay that they've been not addressing but i think this person is also realizing that if they want you they're gonna have to address those things they, they can't hold on to this toxic lifestyle and also try to have you too and i think that that's possibly what the juggling was they weren't ready to completely leave their 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 lifestyle behind but they also didn't want to let you go completely either they knew that they didn't want to let you go they knew that you were a catch but they were having a hard time detaching from whatever this toxic lifestyle or way of thinking whatever this was thinking whatever this was thinking